Hello, in this DAW programming video, I am going to show you the Q collection. Q collection is basically a FIFO type of collection. F I F O. So let me put this here. F I F O, which stands for first in, first out. You know, like a regular queue, you know, of people. The first person in the queue is the first person out. Ignoring the fact that somebody might, you know, jump the queue or you might get some sort of special circumstance. Generally speaking, the first person in the queue is the first person out. Also, you can think of it as Lilo, last in, last out as well. And queues are great because you can manipulate the start and the end of the queue, which we'll be doing in this video. So first of all, we need to do an import. So we need to do import dot collection. And what we need to do is put queue, the name of the queue on this Put the keyword i'll just put the letter q equals new q and what we're going to do is add some values to do that you just do q dot add you can add multiple values i want you to do that as an extra task and let's say if we put one two three four and five Okay, so we add in five values. We could print it off. Uh, we could print out Q. I'm gonna cover iterating over, you know, collections in a separate video, and they'll be generic for all your collections. Pretty cool stuff. What happens if we want to add a value to the end or the start of the queue? We can do that really easily. We can do Q dot add. This is what makes Q really, really powerful. We can do Q dot add first. Let's say if we add, I don't know, 23. And then if we do Q dot add last, and we do 90. And then we print it out after that. So we print out Q. And there we go. The first one literally added it at the start. It might not seem like a big deal, but it is. Like if you were trying to do this with something, with something like sets or arrays or maps or anything like that in Dart or no programming language, you probably need two to three, you know, arrays, for example, or, you know, one of the temporary one, and actually just to do, you know, one of the main one, one of the temporary one, you copy the data over, you store, overwrite the first value, then copy the next set of the old data over, and then you push it along, assuming that the array can be of a dynamic size as well. So queues are really, really powerful if you want to be able to add values just literally at the start or at the end. So it's great for stuff like priority. So, you know, basically, you know, if you're queuing something up, in your application where there's a different priority and maybe something needs to go to the front or maybe to the back for example is great for that so that's it for the q collection video if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video